welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to continue looking at um circle theorem and in today's video i'm going to look at finding the length of the arc of a sector of a circle so in this video i'm going to demonstrate how you can find the length of the arc of the segment of the circle okay so i'm going to use this question to demonstrate how you find the, the length of the arc so the question is calculate the length of the arc of the sector of the circle with the radius of 14 centimeter and the angle of 135 degrees so that statement is illustrated in this diagram so as you can see that is the sector of the circle which has 135 degrees inside the sector and it has got the radius of 14 centimeter on each side okay so we are supposed to find the length of the of the arc in this uh, sector of the circle so what we're going to do first um, let me what we're going to do first is um what we're going to do is we're going to identify the formula we use to find the circumference of the circle um, and this is the formula we use to find the circumference of the circle that is the complete circle is circumference is equal to pi uh, multiplied by diameter okay so that is the circumference of the circle okay so if you are given a full circle uh, you use that formula which is pi multiplied by the diameter okay so now in this question we're going to find the length of the arc so to do that first we're going to find the the the, the perimeter or the circumference of uh, this uh, arc this sector we're going to find the perimeter of this uh, sector of the circle okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do the actual uh, calculations for the perimeter then later on I'm going to show you how you can find the length of the arc. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to write the formula. So, uh, in this case, we're just given a sector, so we're not going to use the. We're going to use this uh, this formula, which is pi multiplied by diameter. Then we are also going to find the fraction of uh, this uh, sector of the circle. So what we're going to do first, let's write the sector of the circle. So the sector of the circle, we're going to write it from the angles given, the angle given and the angle of the circle. So we are given the angle of 135, which is uh, the angle of the sector of this circle. Then the complete circle has got 360 degrees. So we're going to write 135 over 360 degrees. Then we're going to multiply it by uh, the formula we use to find this uh, the circumference of the circle the total uh, perimeter of the circle when the circle is complete so we're going to say multiply by pi multiply by diameter okay so once we've done that then the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to replace uh, these the pi and the diameter by their actual value so i'm going to write equal to then i'm going to write 135 degrees divided by 360 degrees which will be multiplied by uh, what is the diameter i'm going to use the uh, what is the pi not diameter sorry what is the pi the pi i'm going to use is 22 over 7 so i'm going to write 22 over 7 which will be multiplied by the diameter now as you can see in this segment we are not given the diameter but we are given the radius which is 14 centimeter so um you should know that the, the the radius is the half of the diameter so which means if we are given 14 centimeter so the diameter will be 28 centimeters so i'm going to multiply it by 28 centimeter okay once i've done that then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to simplify I'm going to simplify these numbers because I want to come up with a smaller number that can be workable without confusion and also without using a calculator. But if you are allowed to go with a calculator, you can punch these in the calculator. They will definitely give you the answer you're going to get. 
so I'm going to simplify let me start with these degrees uh, as you can see 5 can go into uh, 135 as well as 360 so let me start with 135 so 5 degrees into 135 it will go 27 times and then uh, 5 degrees into 360 degrees it will go 72 times okay once i'm done there i'm going to look for other numbers that can that have got common factors which is 7 and 28 7 and 28 they have got common factors so i'm going to say i'm going to divide 7 by 7 and 28 by 7 so uh, 7 by 7 it will go one times so that means 7 will be cancelled out then 28 centimeter divided by 7 it will give us 4 centimeter okay it will give us four centimeter that will be the answer four centimeter and then as you can see 22 and 72 also have got a number that can go into both and that is two so two into two into 72 it will go 36 times then two into 22 it will go 11 times then uh, as you can see 436 k okay, they have got a common factor which is 4 itself so we can say 4 into 4 4 into 36 it will go nine times 4 into 4 it will go one time so remember it's four centimeter four into four centimeter it will go one centimeter time so there i'm remaining one centimeter down here i'm remaining with nine and there as you can see we have got 27 11 and one there okay on top so we can look at uh, those numbers on top which one has the common uh, factor with nine so you can see that 27 and nine they have got a common factor which is nine itself so we're going to say nine into uh nine into 27 it will go three times then nine into nine it will go one time okay so Basically, when one is a denominator, it's as good as the it is the numerator. It's just like the way we have got here, we have got a fraction which is 3 over 1, 1 which is coming from 9. So it's as good as we just have 3 because 3 into 1 into 3 will give us 3. Okay, so the denominators which are 1, I'm going to ignore them. As long as they don't have a unit, I will ignore them. Okay. Even on top, I could have ignored as if it didn't have um, the unit and it was just alone, like the way it was, like uh, here where there is seven. If the, on top there was one and down there is one, we could have just ignored and said it's one. Okay. So since we have three there, so we're going to start uh, first. Let me write the equal sign. Then we we start to write what is remain what has remained. So let's start from here. Here we have got uh, 3 on top, and here where there was 9, there was 1. So if we say 1 into 3, it will give us 3, which I'm going to write there. Then there, we go on the second, uh, there on the middle, we have second, we have got only 11 there. So I'm going to multiply 3 by 11. Then multiply by, we come to the 1 node I there we are just remaining with one there which is one centimeter so we're going to multiply three by eleven by one centimeter okay so that is the expression i've come up with so what we're going to do now we are going to multiply the the number so three by eleven will give us 33 then 33 multiplied by one centimeter which i haven't used remember i've just multiplied those numbers i've underlined three multiplied by 11 which has given us 33 then 33 multiplied by one centimeter okay so 33 multiplied by one centimeter will give us 33 centimeter so 33 33 centimeter uh is the 